Uh, hi, in this video, we are going to see what is application networks in MuleSoft. So normally we might have heard about uh, computer network. So for example, you have a lab in your office or uh, uh, college where if you refer computer network, right? So if it is a lab, then we will have many computer and it will be connected with a wire or uh, some kind of network where machines are connected or computers are connected with other computers. So that is called computer network. Similarly, if you are connecting many applications, so here we have an application called SAP, Blackline, which is a finance application, and you have e-com application, you have Salesforce application, and also you have mobile application. So these applications are connecting or talking to other applications. So that is called application networks. So which is nothing but it's a network of application. So that is what application networks. So how this term is referred in MuleSoft or where it is getting used? Assume you have a mu lab, so wherever I put M, that's a mu lab, which is talking to different application. For example, this mu particular mu lab talking to SAP to get the inventory data. So this mu lab basically connecting to the blackline application, and this mu lab connecting to e-commerce application. And uh, this is an individual service which can specifically get some specific data. So for example, here it's inventory data, it's a finance data, and here it's something like order data, order data. And uh, there is another new lab which is basically talking to Salesforce and also talking to this Blackline application for a finance data. So here this particular new lab it's directly calling Salesforce and also it's calling another new lab which is basically retrieving some information from the finance system. So here new labs are categorized or granularized with a smaller microservices. So it's not tightly coupled. So it's an individual data level element. It is applicable or available as a individual microservice so when i wanted more data so then i can easily orchestrate it for example i needed data for mobile api from the salesforce assume this is a customer data and mobile needs a customer information and also for that particular customer i need some financial record as well so in that case i can call this particular api this particular mule application internally connecting to salesforce and also calling another mule application which is talking to blackline so here what is happening? This particular mobile API, which is calling a Mule API, which is helping to talk to two different applications, which is a Salesforce and also Blackline. How directly it's connecting to one system and also it uh, already we have developed some API with specific functionality, so which is already there. So we no need to redevelop anything because uh, every functionality is available as a separate microservice in an organization. So that we can reuse it. So basically this Mule app is taking a data from here. So whatever we created or developed earlier here, there is no change. So here only the another new Mule app, which needs a data from this particular Mule app. It's getting the data and orchestrating with another app and providing a data back to your mobile API. So this way application can interact with multiple applications. So that is one it's called as application networks in MuleSoft. Thank you. Uh, hi, thank you for watching this video so far. If you like the video, please share it with your friends and also subscribe to this Tech Lightning channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.